what's up everybody 915 man here doing a video today hope you guys are all doing really good thanks for tuning in and checking out the 150 gallon tank also have a 25 gallon innovative marine lagoon for those of you who have been following me along the journey my reefing journey you guys know that I had a 120 gallon reef tank custom then I ended up going to a 34 gallon Salona then I went to a 24 gallon all-in-one then I went to a 45 gallon SCA cube 20 gallon longs 10 gallons 40 gallon breeders and they all have one thing in common water changes um, all those water changes suck but I finally got a hold of another roller uh, these things just screw into the bottom of your brute can and uh, make life a whole lot easier for water changes I haven't done a water change in quite a while at least two two months plus but I'm gonna go ahead and make it count I'm gonna do a 20 gallon water change and uh, I highly suggest you guys use a siphon back in my 180 gallon days I was trying to siphon out some water. I used my mouth and uh, got a good taste of that salt water with sand. And I got to tell you, that stuff messed me up for a good week of constant diarrhea. Diarrhea three, four, five times a day until it finally ran its process. I should have probably ate some carbon. I'm due for a good video with some gel filters. Just showing you the tank and the corals, the corals fluorescing, and uh, do some top downs. I think I'm going to do that next, later on. But if you didn't check out the last video that I did, I ended up getting some new fish. And I got some antheas. And uh, got some snails and stuff like that from my LFS, the coral reef. But I am going to be having some videos in store for you guys for the future. Um, I'm going to record some of the other local fish stores in my area. And then um, you guys can check them out. Most of you locals already have. Uh, I'm going to check out two other uh, local fish stores. And we'll just uh, do a video of Battle of the Fish Stores or something like that. I know a lot of you guys order your fish products online. And as far as livestock, a lot of you guys use the fish dot com saltwaterfish.com or divers den places like that which is cool but i'm lucky to have a good lfs i have like three four lfs's some of them have fizzled out some of them are still around but i'm lucky to to have so many saltwater stores in my neighborhood now as far as equipment i like to get my equipment online i usually get it from marine depot I did an unboxing of this protein skimmer, so if you guys want to check it out, go ahead and uh, check it out. I think it's a good piece of equipment to have for your nano, and uh, I got to tell you, it's doing a good job producing some skim mate. Now, the 25-gallon Innovative Marine tank that I had was only like two-something, right? Then I bought this protein skimmer, and then I bought uh, an expensive light, which I won't say how much it was in case the wife is uh watching it i really doubt that she is but i don't want to mention the price of that light um and then uh the coral stocking it up so it is getting it pretty expensive i bought heaters and uh, i had some pumps already so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the zoas that i got i picked these ones up from my reef to yours on the right side of this rack and then back on the left side are just corals that i already had um zoas that i fragged up and put in this tank now as far as equipment i'm almost done uh with setting this tank up I still need to get an ato but uh, other than that i am almost done and i can start concentrating on corals again i'm still running my algae turf scrubber made by santa monica filtration they did sponsor it they sent it to me uh, it took me a while to set it up just because I was being a lazy ass and didn't set it up, but I'm so glad that it's up. It's running on my tank and it's doing a good job growing uh, this algae turf scrubber. Uh, good stuff. I do have to clean it once a week, 
and get it going. I did get some packages. Some of you might have got to see some of this stuff. But my friends from Marine Depot, they did send me some items from Brightwell. And I can't wait to open this stuff up and use it on my 150. It's kind of nice getting these nice products, good quality stuff. Because uh, the stuff that I picked up is all coral related. I'm almost done on equipment wise on the nano system. On my 150, I'm pretty much done. Um, I can always get an Apex and things like that, but um, it's on my to-do list. But for the most part, I'm using products that are going to enhance my corals because I'm all about my corals. do want to get a couple more fish. But here's some of the goodies that I got from Marine Depot. They sent me this these items, and as you can see, this is going to be legit stuff. Just follow along, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see how much better my corals look. I'm really excited to use it because I want to get into that SPS game and be be like some of you guys out there, SPS masters. I'll do another unboxing of this items. We'll go ahead and talk about you know the effects on the corals if I noticed anything later on in another video. But I also picked up some calc plus two. It's calcwasser, calcium, magnesium, stronium, and I'm going to pit this in my auto top off. I'm also going to pit a little bit in my auto top off once I get an auto top off in my nano system. Uh, right now, I am using the bucket, and that is my auto top off. Picked up some of these cubes, uh, and I can't wait to use these, get them cleaned off, and pit them in my... Uh, nano system that I have. My nano system, if you haven't noticed, is a two tank system, one 25 gallon uh, lagoon, and then an awesome custom uh, frag tank that was made for me by my buddy Matt. Let's go ahead and talk about those cubes real quick. One cube is good for 20 to 40 gallons of water. There's four cubes in there, so that's awesome. The more cubes that you have, more beneficial bacteria can live in there and the less live rock that you have to have cluttering up your tank. You do want to get some clean RODI water and rinse out the uh, cubes, get any kind of dust out of it and uh, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, they're really lightweight which is awesome and I like that they don't take so much space. It's pretty amazing that one cube can do 20 to 40 gallons of water. Now the directions say that from Brightwell Aquatics that once you clean out the dust, they suggest that you buy some Microbacter uh, live bacteria and you soak your rocks in it for 24 hours. That way you can kind of seed these uh, bricks. Um, I'm not going to do that uh, because I don't have any on hand. I'm just going to go ahead and rinse them out real good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and soak them in some vinegar as a carbon source because they also did mention a carbon source such as bio pellets but simply pitting them in your sump would probably seed them and do a good job now on this channel i show you guys what i do what i do is not the right thing to do my theory was by soaking these bricks in vinegar that they would be full of a carbon source, which, you know, vinegar is. Um, I use the great value vinegar from Walmart. Works good for qu cleaning equipment. But the truth of the matter is, um, I let it sit like this for 24 hours. By the time I was done, the brick was pretty much disintegrated. It was super clean. The foam was kind of pink, but I'm going to show you as you can see what the brick looks like now and as you can see it's pretty brittle uh, I'm still gonna make use of them I'm still gonna pit it inside of my lagoon uh, but it's nobody's fault but my own don't let your things like this sit in vinegar vinegar will destroy them but I think this is a good place to end this video hope you guys had a good one congratulations to the winner of the contest we'll do another one so make sure you tune in subscribe and have a good one guys